people have gotten so creative in using the human body to hide stuff that we now have to resort to strip searching in order to find drugs or even explosives. But sometimes wrong decisions can be made. Here are the most inappropriate cases of strip searching. Club Toronto. In 2000, there was a Pussy Palace party occurring at Club Toronto, a bathhouse known to help women explore their sexuality in a safe setting. During the party, six Toronto police officers raided the club where there were about 350 women, many not wearing clothes. The raid resulted in numerous women getting strip searched and many were arrested. After numerous lawsuits in 2002, a judge ruled that the police were wrong in their raid. Finally, 16 years later, the police department finally apologized, but the apology was rejected by the group of women at Club Toronto on that fateful night. Safford Middle School. When Savannah Redding was 13 years old, she was accused of carrying ibuprofen by another student who was caught with the painkillers and claimed she got them from Redding. She was then pulled from her math class and sent to the office where the assistant principal searched her backpack. When no pills were found, the assistant principal called an aide and the school nurse to conduct a strip search where she had to open her bra and shake out her underwear. Again, no pills were found. However, a lawsuit proved to be a fruitless endeavor after it was revealed that policy and law were vague in this particular subject of strip search minors. LaSalle County Jail In 2013, Dana Holmes was arrested for drunk driving by the LaSalle County Sheriff's Department. After the arrest, she wasn't calming down, so the county jail decided to strip her naked and put her in a padded cell wrapped only in a blanket. This, they claimed, was to cool her off. However, Holmes wasn't satisfied and sued the county jail. In 2014, she won a $355,000 lawsuit against the county and has forced the sheriff's department to reevaluate how they handle heated detainees. Humberside Police. In February of 2014, a 49-year-old man with broken legs was arrested and held in custody at the Humberside Police Department in Hull, United Kingdom. The man was strip searched and left naked in a jail cell until an inspector saw the man's condition and called a doctor and an ambulance. What makes it worse is that the allegation that brought the man into custody turned out to be false and five officers were found guilty of gross misconduct. Turner High School in 2012, a 15-year-old student at Turner High School was accused of carrying drugs or drug paraphernalia in her bra by another student that was upset with her. The student was called into the assistant principal Nancy Bartek's office and was informed that she would have to have her bra searched. The girl was then escorted into the nurse's office where the nurse was ordered to lift the girl's shirt and bra. The result in the search led to nothing, but now the student is suing the school district. Customs and Border Protection Ashley Cervantes was an 18-year-old American citizen when she was stopped at the Mexican border by Customs and Border Protection and was accused of smuggling drugs. First, she was locked in a room with dogs sniffing her out. Then she was strip searched and female investigators performed a cavity search. They still didn't find any drugs. Unsatisfied, the CBP then took her to the hospital where an x-ray was performed as well as a vaginal and anal examination. Still no drugs. After seven hours, she was released and then given a bill for five $575 for medical treatment. CVS. On March 9, 2014, around 7.30, Alan Sargent was pulled over in a CVS parking lot by Officer Alfie G. Ackle during a routine traffic stop in Laurel City, Maryland. Sargent was told to get out of his car with his hands in the air. When Ackle then started unbuckling his pants and pulled down his pants and underwear, a second officer then showed up to watch Ackle strip search Sargent. Ackle gave him a ticket for obstructing traffic and then told him he could go. Sargent told his story to the public, stating that the experience was a violation of his civil rights, and the media quickly picked up the story. Ackle was disciplined and charged after complaints were filed, but still somehow remains on the police force. Online hate campaign. On June 18, 2014, Paul Ponting had been experiencing harassment from another man to the point where he called the Lancashire Constabulary. After the police arrived at his home and told him they wouldn't be pursuing the harasser, Ponting got upset and the police then arrested and pepper sprayed him. While in custody, the police then performed a cavity and strip search, leaving him naked in his cell. After experiencing chest pains, Ponting was taken to the hospital. At his court date, the charges pending against him were all dropped. Ponting is now rightfully suing the Lancashire Constabulary. Well, folks, that's our video. Thank you for watching. While you're here, why don't you check out these other videos and throw us a like and a subscribe so we can keep bringing you more awesome videos. Thanks.